and Dr. Ariane for the Movement Paradigm. Are you curious about your vitamin D status? Perhaps if you have a vitamin D deficiency and what might have caused it? And why is vitamin B12 so important in your body? Vitamin B12, i.e. cobalamin, is essential in nutrient metabolism and energy production. So if you are somebody that's experiencing mood issues or chronic fatigue, this is something you absolutely want to evaluate. B12 is essential to metabolize homocysteine, which is an amino acid, DNA synthesis, and to prevent anemia. Without enough red blood cells, you don't have enough oxygen. And so what can happen is you can increase heart rate, you can have neurological symptoms, you can have, again, chronic fatigue, you can have trouble walking. So there's so many things that could be related to a deficiency. Understanding digestion of B12 is very important because that can be one of the drivers of vitamin B12 deficiency. So first we want to understand that when we're breaking down foods that contain B12, such as our meats, our higher protein foods, that digestion begins in the stomach. So we have hydrochloric acid, we have pepsin, so that's when we begin to break down vitamin B12. Then that moves into the small intestine and it will bind to intrinsic factor, which is a glycoprotein. As that continues to move down into the intestine, then it will ultimately bind and that's when we have the absorption of our vitamin B12. So you can appreciate that if you have any kind of maldigestion, perhaps low stomach acid, if you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, if you have leaky gut, all of these things can impair the digestion and absorption of B12. So it can be difficult to diagnose a B12 deficiency, so it is very important to look at a lot of different factors. We can't simply just look at serum B12 alone, because unfortunately that is not going to the best, be the best marker. So we have to actually assess homocysteine and ideally methylmalonic acid as well when we're looking for B12 status. If either one of those are elevated and you see a low vitamin B12 status, then it is going to be more indicative of a deficiency. So when we're looking for a general range of the serum value, we're looking for around 800, but again, we want to make sure that we're looking at a full picture, not simply just the serum value. You also want to look for other signs such as anemia, you may have paleness, shortness of breath, other factors that are indicative of a potential deficiency as well. So it's important as always to look at the full clinical picture. So you wanna match your testing along with how you're feeling and your symptoms. Make sure that you have a qualified professional to be able to help you navigate that process and to be able to make sure that you're making the best decisions for your own health. So if you need help, please make sure to reach out to us. We would love the opportunity to help you on your journey. In the meantime, if this was helpful, give it a like or share and make sure you send it to a family member who or friend who may need this. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.